Hello there. My name's Crafty Pat Sissons. Welcome to Vintage Key Studio. Now we've all been a bit ill here, so we haven't had uh, much in the way of videos done recently, so sorry about that. Today, um, I'm going to briefly show you the Fender Rhodes we have here. It's not actually a Fender Rhodes, it's just a Rhodes. Uh, it was made by the uh, CBS company, I think, who, who um, uh, bought Fender and uh, Harold Rhodes, who invented it. Um, and this one dates from 1977, and it... Um, it's when they dropped the Fender name from the packaging, whatever it is. Now this is the Mark I um, stage piano, 73 notes. This is why it's called a 73. It's very mellow. Makes you play in a certain way. And some some tunes don't sound right on it. Now it's as, as simple as a, a, an electric guitar, really, because. This is probably the only time, unless you're technically inept, uh, when an input connects to an input. Because on the Rhodes piano, the output socket is labelled input. We've got a very simple volume control, which is just a potentiometer. And then there's bass boost. Which is a lie because it's actually bass reduction. That's the sound as it normally is. And then that just reduces the sound of the bass. But it, obviously if you've got it set to fairly bassy in the first place, it sounds like bass boost. Similarly, yeah, that's, I mean, that's not lying so much there because that's volume. But if it was to say gain, that would be a lie as well because that is the normal sound of it. And these are just um, attenuation or attenuators. So it's just reducing the level of the sound. So it's increasing the resistance. Similarly there. So anyway, 73 keys, 73 written there. And roads. I've done a bit of a, a modification on this, courtesy of the Vintage Vibe Company, who actually make new um, Rhodesy, Wurlitzer type electric pianos, very nice ones. Um, you should check them out. VintageVibe.com. Um, and I got the um, the keybed modification, and I did that on here which involves putting like a little plastic bump on the um, the keys to kind of make the hammers move a, a bit nicer. Um, if you go over to the Vintage Vibe website, I'm sure you'll be able to see exactly what it is because I can't even remember the name of the mod I did. Now, I'm going to take the Rhodes' top off. Very slowly. Just go around the back. Here we are, this is the, the tone bars, which are the sort of resonant 
resonant bars for each note. And then you've also got underneath there, I don't know if you can see these little sort of tiny prongs of wire, and they're called tines. And they've got little springs to the end of them, and that's how this thing's tuned. So what the idea is that if you move the little spring up or down, and um, it changes the, the tuning on each one. You can also see that every single time has got a pickup right next to it. Some of the pick, some of the times are sort of ever so slightly out from where they should be on this. So, so sometimes they are some some of the notes are louder than others, but uh, they shouldn't be. This one's pretty much okay actually. So it's got a pickup on every single note. Um, it's got uh, these tone bars that help sort of resonate and vibrate the, uh, the sound. And this one, as you can see, it's a, bit, a little bit worse for wear. And it had lots of rattles in it. I've replaced most of the key bed stuff in here and re-glued a lot of stuff and put new hammer heads on the top. So the tone bars are a little bit bent on this one um, and I've stuck a few bits of felt in there to stop them rattling and to stop them so they so you hear it's not, it's not sounding too bad um, it's all in tune um, and it's it's got a, a, a basic action just like a real piano um, with with wooden keys that that move um, the mechanism up there and then push the there's a hammer I don't know if you can just see under there the black there's a black tipped hammer comes up and then the um, the damper moves away from the tine and then comes back up and hits it now I just want to um, demonstrate something else that is rather useful here that you can do with these tines if you introduce smoke into the roads that's where the phrase fog on the tine The Rhodes Mark I, 73, it, it's very, very basic. It's just a, the keyboard instrument with a volume and a bass boost, and there's no tremolo or onboard amp or anything at all. So it's a completely passive device. Obviously, you just plug it into an amp, and uh, it works. This has got a pedal on it. And let me show you down here the, the situation with the pedal the octopus the pedals basically like a a hi-hat pedal from a drum kit same sort of idea um, and it's it's just like a, a rod like that inside a, another rod and then this pedal here which it's not got a spring on it or anything it's just really simple just a cantilever and that goes under there and the rod fits on the top <coughs> extend it up and there's a plate up inside here which has got a, a spring on it and you just set it up like that and then push it up and it pushes the um the dampers up inside there's a big long bar up here it moves all the dampers out of the way when i press on the pedal because that's basically just pushing up it's just a completely mechanical system pressing up and then the notes will hold on. So that's pretty much it. It's got four legs. I think I got these legs from Vintage Vibe. I certainly got the pedal, the pedal from them because they have started to, to make replicas of all these bits because this Rhodes came to me just the keyboard without any other bits on it. So that's, that's basically it. There's not a lot to these things, but they're, they're very nice to play. And... Um, I used to think when I used to play pianos and stuff and keyboards in bands and things, I used to, I used to think, why can't I have a real keyboard? Because the guitarist has got a real guitar and the drummer's got a real drum kit. And I'd be sitting there with an ironing board that said Yamaha on it or something, but then it was just like a little keyboard. And it was a pretend thing as opposed to a real proper instrument. And then I got a Fender Rhodes and I thought, this is great. But the one drawback was I couldn't pick it up. It was too heavy. So that was the end of that, and I gave up.
So very expressive, and uh, not lot, not much else to say really. I'm feeling in a bit of an experimental mood, so I will leave you with a tantalising hint. I've installed a great big sheet of metal up there in the studio, and uh, I will now proceed to play the Fender Rhodes through the piece of metal from here. Thank you very much indeed for watching. You can hear I'm currently traveling through the echo plate as well. I hope you've enjoyed this installment of the Vintage Keys collection. Do come back soon and if you've enjoyed this video and any of the other videos, please hit that subscribe button and like it if you possibly can with your thumbs. My name has been today Crafty Pat Sissons traveling about 18 feet up into the roof of Vintage Key Studio and through a two meter by one meter sheet of steel. Good night.